Welcome to week five of the 2018 NFL season, a reality in which the Pittsburgh Squealers lose at home to the Baltimore Ravens and the Rams are still undefeated. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. The Ravens coming off a wonderful victory, and somehow your Rams are undefeated. Actually, it's no surprise because Todd Gurley's helping me in fantasy, though I am two and two. If you'll notice, actually, in a more serious note, we have actually gone paying for breast cancer awareness. Um, in light of so many strong women, much like my mother, my Aunt Tanya, and also many countless women across the globe, we are in support of breast cancer awareness by going pink. So, uh, in lieu of that, let's get down to the games. Yeah, and real quick before we do, our uh, go over our records for picking. I dropped quite a bit after this most recent week. I'm now 30, 31, and 2. You are 26, 35, and 2. Uh, those ties come in because we had two pushes this week on, uh, on the spreads, well, last week. So, without further ado, let's get into the Week 5 spreads. Let's go. So, Indianapolis travels to New England. Wow, this is a huge spread. New England has a negative 10 at home, coming off a really big victory this past weekend. It is a really big victory, um, but I do think that Indianapolis, with that high of a spread, can keep it close enough. So I'm going to go Indianapolis plus 10. I, you know, Andrew Luck can put points on the board, so um, I'm going to trust they can keep it somewhat close. Yeah, exactly. I um, wasn't too impressed with Josh Gordon. I don't think they utilized him as much as I thought they were going to use him. Um, the Patriots still demolished, but I don't think it's going to be enough to close that 10-point spread. I'm going to go with the Colts. I think the Patriots probably pull off a victory here, though, but I don't think they win by 10. Next up, Jacksonville travels to Kansas City, which is probably going to be the game of the week. One of the best defenses, one of the best offenses. Kansas City is negative three at home. This is really tough to pick, obviously, because you got very tough. You basically have the best defense in the league going up against uh, the newest superstar of the league. Yeah, Fitz Magic has dwindled. So who you got? Ah. <laughs> uh... I hate to go against Mahomes, but I'm going to go with the Jaguars plus three. I think they might be the first defense that finds a way to limit him. Well, I'm going to trust a quarterback that can pass from both hands and can actually pull off a big win against the Jaguars. I'm going Kansas City. <laughs> Next up, we have Tennessee travels to Buffalo to take on that shit show. This is a, this is a shit show game, honestly. Tennessee, Buffalo, these are two teams I really don't have too much confidence in, but Buffalo, nonetheless, is plus three and a half at home. I have confidence in Tennessee here. I'm going to go Tennessee minus three and a half. They're coming off a pretty nice win. Marks Mariota finally showed he can do Fair something. Enough. So I, this week, and look, pretty much unless there's like a humongous spread, I'm going to pick against the Bills all year. So yeah, Tennessee. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Bills aren't going to win anything. But, um, yeah, I'm going Tennessee. I, I just don't think this is going to be that entertaining of a game. That's just me. I don't know. Next up, Atlanta travels to Pittsburgh, where Pittsburgh came off a horrible loss and looked like complete shit. Sorry, Jimmy. Told you I was going to get you. Jimmy, I mean, Pittsburgh is negative three at home. It's an interesting matchup here because Atlanta's coming off a very narrow loss to the Bengals. Now they play another team from the same division. Uh, but you know what? They're plus three. And that could actually make a difference here, given that they lost the Bengals by a point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Atlanta plus three. Yeah, I'm going to go with Atlanta as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, Pittsburgh, never count them out totally, but uh, who the fuck are we kidding? Yeah, we're going with Atlanta. Pittsburgh, what, what is going on? I mean, I heard week seven, Le'Veon might be back. Probably not going to start right out the gates. And Watching the Steelers play this past weekend in the last few games, I've not been impressed, honestly. And this isn't even coming from me as a Ravens fan, but just as a football fan. There's something wrong in Pittsburgh, and hopefully, well, not hopefully, they'll probably fix it. So, yeah, Atlanta. Next up, Denver travels to New York to take on the Jets, where the Jets are negative one at home. Wow, virtually a straight pick'em game. 
I'll go with Denver plus one. I mean, I just, you know, and, and the Jets can always surprise, but they have a rookie quarterback. Denver's just the more complete team. And you give them a plus one, which probably isn't going to make a difference, but you never know. Uh, I'm going to go with Denver. Yeah, I mean, if Denver can get pressure on the Jets, yeah, no question. Denver's got the win here. Next up, Green Bay travels to Detroit to take on the Lions, who are plus one at home. Divisional matchup here. Tough and game. It, it is actually tough to pick here. Um, I will go with Green Bay. I mean, I think they got some. They got some nice. Uh, had a nice blowout win, uh, shutout actually against the Bills, and I like them to keep that momentum going. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Green Bay. Never count out Aaron Rodgers. That's the rule of thumb. Um, Detroit. They've had. They had a pretty impressive victory against the Patriots, which was enough to turn heads everywhere. But I think in a divisional game, I'm gonna go with Green Bay. Next up, the Baltimore Ravens travel to Cleveland to take on the Browns. The Browns are plus three. And the Ravens are coming off high. They just beat the Steelers away. Who you got? I'm going to go with the Ravens minus three. It's, it's, not, it's not a big spread. And uh, yeah, as much as I think Baker Mayfield's a, su a future superstar, I think he's going to struggle in this one. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I think this spread is very fair. Whenever we play Cleveland, it's very close for the most part. Um, being that it's negative three, Call up Justin Tucker. There's your win right there, if need be. Cleveland, again, a very, very threatening team. I mean, they have one win. They came close virtually every other game after that, you know, outside of that. But the Ravens are running high right now. They are looking like probably one of the most complete teams in the NFL. And aren't the right Ravens now. getting Jimmy Smith back this week? Yeah. So there you go. I don't know if Baker Mayfield is going to be able to play against this defense, honestly. The Ravens can come out fast, score fast. Hey, there you go. Next up, the Giants travel to Carolina to take on the Panthers. Panthers are negative seven at home. Well, I made a mistake last week picking the Giants. Um, Horrible you know, mistake. <laughs> and, you know, uh, seven is a nice, comfortable margin, but I believe in the Panthers at home. I mean, they've shown time and time again when they're playing at home, they can get it done, and I think they'll do so here. No question. I'm going to go with the Panthers. I mean, again, it, it is the Giants, and I think – there's not much to be said. I'm, yeah, we're going to Carolina. Next up, Miami travels to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. And I'm not going to lie, the Bengals being negative six and a half at home, maybe it's fair. I mean, Miami's been hot too right lately, but there's something about this Bengals team, and they're very threatening. Yeah, I just don't know if Miami is really the team that travels well. We saw what happened last time when they went into New England, and that just wasn't pretty. So... Bengals have been uh, impressive, to say the least, this year. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with uh, Cincinnati minus six and a half. Vince, I'm sorry. I know you were calling for it on Facebook. I'm going with the Bengals, man. I can't pick Miami. So there you go. I picked against you guys like you wanted because he thinks that me picking Miami has caused his team to finally lose a game. No. I think Cincinnati is probably one of the most complete teams. Another complete team out there, and they played lights out. They play, they've been playing really, really good at a really high level. And again, sitting at number one in the AFC North, I mean, what's to stop them yet? So let's go with Cincinnati at home, especially. Next up, Oakland travels to LA to take on the Chargers. Chargers are negative five and a half at home. And no, I do not want Phillip Rivers, Justin. <laughs> I'm taking the Chargers minus five and a half. Um, you know, I'm still... I don't even need to talk about it, really. We know how I feel about John Gruden and the Raiders. Yes, they just, by a narrow margin in overtime, beat the Browns. But this is a whole different team, and they're going away, so no. Actually, thinking about this, actually might be a good trade to take Phillip Rivers <laughs> this week, at least. But, um, yeah, again, Oakland, <sighs> no. There, there's just a lot of no there. So we're going to go with the Chargers this week. Next up, Arizona travels to San Francisco, who has a negative four and a half at home. What do you got? I'm going to take my chances with the Cardinals plus really? four and a half. Oh, I wow. mean, uh, you know, Jimmy G's knocked out. Now, granted, the 49ers still did pretty good last week, even without him, but division rivalry, I'm going to take the team with that that's getting spotted four and a half points. Yeah, you make a good point, but we need to split the difference. I'll go with San Francisco. San Francisco, I'll take the challenge here. Negative four and a half 
That means they yeah. maybe we'll see. Might be a bad pick, but you never know. Next up, the LA Rams travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks, and that should show up north. The Seahawks are plus seven. Who you got, obviously. It's obvious who I got. <laughs> it's obvious who I got, LA. I mean, no, man, Seattle, another team that's just, one of seen that's fallen from grace, honestly. With Earl Thomas getting carted out the field, flicking off his whole entire sideline. What is that? Yeah. So I think the Rams last week, you know, obviously they beat the Vikings. I think on the spread it was a push because they were like minus seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, I do think the Vikings are a better team than the Seahawks. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see. Next up, Minnesota travels to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles, and the Eagles are a negative three at home. Yeah, I got to tell you, though, Gerald, I haven't been all that impressed with Philly lately. If I'm not mistaken, they are coming off a loss, it's a narrow loss. I'm going to go with Minnesota plus three. That might be a good bet to take, but I'm going to stick with the uh, city of brotherly love and go with Philly, man. I mean, don't count them out. They're at home this week. And Philly's a tough place to play. We all know that. So I think, I mean, Kirk Cousins, if he can come into Philly, honestly, and beat the Eagles, all right, more stock for him, but... I'm going to go with the Eagles this week. And Oh, wow. I can't believe this game is a Sunday night game. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, Dallas travels to Houston to take on the Texans, who are negative three. Wow, what a horrible Sunday night football game. Oh, I'll well, miss that one. <laughs> Houston, negative three. Who you got? I think I'm going to take my chances with Houston, negative three, just because uh, Ezekiel Elliott, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to play. I think he has a minor injury going on right now. And I just don't trust Prescott. Uh, you know, he had one of his better games of the year last week, but even that was like he barely cracked 200 yards passing. So if, Rome, go with Houston. if Romo shows up this week and he suits up in that number nine and he plays, no question Dallas. But that shit ain't going to happen. So I'm going to go with Houston. Do you ever think you'd be saying that? Like they need Romo ever, back instead never of Prescott? I ever thought that. <laughs> never thought I'd ever say that. That is crazy to me, but. Dallas is probably licking their wounds. Sad that they got rid of them. And our Monday night football game, the Redskins traveled to New Orleans to take on the Saints. The Saints are negative six and a half. And can we talk about Taysom Hill? What about him? Guy's a beast. He's doing everything. He's like a Swiss Army knife out there. Kick returner, quarterback, running back, tight end. You put him in a place, he's going to play. He's an X-Factor. I mean, probably ain't the X-Factor that probably wins every game. But, hey, as a BYU fan, I'm excited. But again, New Orleans, number six, uh, they're negative six and a half. Who you got? I hope I don't regret regret this pick, oh, but I am going to go with New Orleans, minus okay. six and a half. Uh, Thought you were about to make a dumb pick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you're spotting the Redskins six and a half points. That's a pretty decent margin on the spreads. But, yeah, that's true. But, um, yeah, I'm picking New Orleans, and it's not because of Taysom Hill. It's just because we know how dynamic their offense can be when they're, uh, you know, Got their when they're in form. Uh, the defense is another question, but I'm gonna take my chances this week with the Saints. Yeah, I'm going with the Saints too as well. I think being in New Orleans, they're home. They're having a home team, and their team is legit, man. They have a lot of offensive weapons, and I just don't think Washington is gonna hold up well against them. You know what else is true? This is my last time filming as an unmarried man. It's crazy. It's my morning. but no. It's crazy, man. <laughs> crazy indeed. Jeez. But nonetheless, thank you for tuning in. Um, make sure to like and subscribe down below. We have a lot of content coming out. Um, I think we have another fight video. Check out our other videos, actually. And yeah, we'll see you next week.